sickle cell patients, but also vital to anybody that doesn't even have sickle cell. So it's important that we know this information. But my child was born and he had sickle cell type SS. I was devastated. I mean, my world was shattered. I cried all the time because I knew what that meant. Growing up in Louisiana, I saw a lot of kids suffer, going to the hospital, um, saw a lot of people pass away. So here I am about to start my life um, in the same footsteps that I once saw these people or these children in Louisiana. So we turned one, he started having splenic sequestration, which is crisis of the spleen. The blood gets trapped in the spleen, cannot properly filter through. The spleen can enlarge and cause lots of complications. So every two months we're in the hospital. At the end of the year, the doctors told me, Ms. Mosley, he, his body is not producing red blood cells, so we have to do a blood transfusion. As we know in sickle cell, the blood cells dies off every 10 or 20 days, so their body just cannot keep up producing red blood cells. So we did the transfusion. Two months later, the same thing, Ms. Mosley. Aiden's body is not producing red blood cells. We have to do another transfusion, and we may have to put him on monthly transfusions because if he continues to go down this road, and which I knew I was against that because monthly transfusions can cause iron overload, it can damage your liver, your heart, and other organs, and it can be very, it can be fatal. I've, I've dealt with plenty of people over the years who, who constantly got blood exchanges, blood, blood transfusions, and, and sadly, they ended up passing away. So after the second blood transfusion, I knew that I had to do something different for my son if I wanted to see something different. If we keep doing the same things in life, we're gonna get the same results, right? So I had to do something different. And that's when I turned to God's medicine cabinet. You're gonna hear me say God's medicine cabinet, that means the plants, which is we know as leafy green vegetables, herbs, which is kind of foreign to us, but herbs are just food too, you know? It may not be our food, but in Asia, in Africa, and in China, all these Chinese herbs and plants, they ate these as foods centuries ago. This is their food, but it's in capsules over here for us. So the first thing that I did, I had to change our diet. So didn't buy any more white sugars. White sugar feeds cancer, white bread, white pasta, artificial sweeteners, Splenda, Equal, um, sodas, diet sodas, aspartame, all these things build inflammation inside the body, conventional dairy. This stuff is hurting us, is killing us. So especially people with sickle cell, we need to get better nutrients inside of our bodies. We just cannot continue to eat the Doritos and the Cheetos and the Hawaiian Punch and the Capri Suns with all the food dyes in it is hurting us. So I did that. Then I started looking for <laughs> I started looking for natural herbs to help the body produce red blood cells. Because we gotta stop treating symptoms, okay? We're not gonna get anywhere treating symptoms. We have to treat the root cause. So what's the root cause in sickle cell? The body does not produce enough red blood cells. We have abnormal hemoglobin and low oxygen, right? So I started looking for herbs to help the body produce red blood cells. I found liquid chlorophyll. Who's heard of chlorophyll? Chlorophyll is found in all leafy green vegetables. Anytime you eat broccoli, kale, spinach, asparagus, celery, you're eating chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is very similar to humans' hemoglobin. The only difference between the two is the center atom and chlorophyll is magnesium. The center atom and hemoglobin is iron, that's it. Mm. Start giving my son chlorophyll, beetroot juice. We know what beets are, beets build the blood. Natto kinase peptase. Natto is a food that's been eaten in Japan for thousands of years. Natto prevents strokes. It keeps the, body, the blood flowing in its most natural state. Keeps all the bad toxins, bad proteins out of the blood. And the final thing I gave him was ginkgo's biloba, which is also a plant of food that's been eaten in the Asian culture for several years. So I did this, three years went by, my son didn't have a crisis. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so during this three year period,